can do this, or at least try to, I suppose. Well, it's been a busy weekend. <laughs> Woo -wee. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again, and today I have yet another how to video. If you guys missed this morning's video talking about EIP 1559, it is a long watch. I could use some help on timestamps. That would be awesome if you guys can timestamp the important or pertinent information for that video and then let me know. I, I could use some help there. Uh, other than that, if you guys want to chat with other crypto enthusiasts without spammers, scammers, or bots, hit the join button down below and select the 199 option. Head over to the membership tab from there and you will find the secret registration link for rocket chat so today we're going to be talking about layer two for ethereum and the importance of that then i'm going to show you an example of how to go ahead and get your swapping started in one of these applications and hopefully it will help you start reducing fees and still earning money via DeFi in some form or fashion without needing to mine or anything like that. So today I'm gonna to be talking about Falcon Swap. However, the bigger ones that are coming out, of course, as far as layer two is gonna be things like Binance and so on. What is layer two? Essentially think of it as an application built on top of another application, basically enabling you to reduce your fees without the need for an exchange and still maintain the control of your private keys. So think of it as when you send to an exchange and then you're paying the fees within the exchange, how you don't actually record anything on the blockchain itself, but that's how they reduce the fees. This is basically just think of it as a different option where you still control your fees as opposed to using a third party exchange. Hopefully that makes some sense to you guys. If it doesn't, let me know in the comment section below and I'll work on a better explanation. Like I said, today we're gonna to be talking about Falcon Swap and I do not have any sponsorships or anything like that to be completely and fully transparent parent during testing i have invested 400 dollars total us dollars and that is it i haven't done anything else but i do have money in this so obviously if you were to say go do this and it increases the price or whatever full disclosure so i want to make sure that all that's clear when we talk about coins and swapping and how to's that I don't think necessarily this price is going to go up or anything like that. It is personally what I am doing and I don't want to influence the market. I think that Falcon Swap though is doing some really interesting things, especially with Falcon Pool and their exchange. And we will talk about Falcon Pool in a separate how to. Now, if this is your first time ever using an application like this, the first thing you're going to need to do is get a wallet. If you already have MetaMask, go ahead and skip forward in the video to take a look at Falcon Pool. But if you haven't set up MetaMask yet, you need to go to MetaMask.io. Do not search it in Google because as we talked about in Rotten Seeds right now, the advertisements on Google are basically scams that are getting people to put in the, the wrong seed into their MetaMask and then stealing your crypto. So don't do that. Now, you'll need to go ahead and click the download now button. And then I am selecting the Brave browser option. Another note about that in full disclosure, if you guys watch the YouTube channel on Brave browser, I get a payout of some sort of bat token as do you. So it's mutually beneficial. I'll leave links to Brave browser down below, but I am a Brave browser content creator. So if you browse my Twitter on Brave, if you watch my YouTube channel or you watch my Twitch channel on Brave browser, I'm slow earning a little bit of bat token also it's just great because you earn bat token while utilizing the browser so it's a win-win for everybody so now we're gonna go ahead and click the download button and then the install metamask for brave it'll take us to the Chrome web store brave browser is a chromium based web browser so that works we're gonna click add and add extension at this time now we're going to go ahead and click get started and you can say no i already have a seed phrase and then that will be imported if you went through a website that essentially said now on the next step import your wallet you know that it is incorrect so let's say you had the whole onboarding process somewhere else and then you get kicked to this page and you're like huh and it wants you to go ahead and add that you need to be careful that's how the rotten seeds happen so let's go ahead and create a new wallet there are some things to agree here too if you are comfortable with it click agree 
and move on. Set a password you can randomly generate it if you like. Also keeping in mind that there's no access to the wallet outside of this particular browser unless the seed phrase is leaked. So this password is not as important as your seed phrase. And then you want to check the box for agree to the terms of use. You can open and review that as well if you like. At this point, it will give you the secret backup phrase and you don't want to share this portion with anybody. There are a few options on storing it. One would be obviously writing it down and putting it into a physical safe on a physical piece of paper. Or your other option, of course, is using an encrypted USB drive. You can use the built-in BitLocker in Windows to encrypt that USB drive. Or finally, your last option would be using something like Nord Locker, which is an encrypted cloud hosted service that I have used in the past, at least moving things between machines and so forth. It can be beneficial, however, like with any other cloud application, there are more risks there than there are on a physical USB drive or a physical piece of paper that you store somewhere else with the seed phrase on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on. It didn't actually let me <laughs> that's not good okay so i'm not sure exactly why it just moved on there because we didn't record that seed phrase down so we are going to need to do settings security and privacy and reveal the seed code enter our password if this happens to you also if you want to see the normal setup go watch the video on uniswap because this is a little abnormal but if this happens to you you can always reveal the seed phrase here so here is the seed phrase we just want to copy that to clipboard and open a notepad and save that for later so i'm just going to do a file save as and then we'll do like that or something right okay so now that we have metamask installed i'm going to go ahead and click the pin button just so that it's sitting right here and then we're going to move back to falcon swap and go ahead and hit the exchange button and launch the exchange so you guys can see what this looks like up here will be the connect wallet now before we can exchange anything we need to send some eth of course to our wallet there's a couple options here one you could recover the seed phrase on your ios device and apple pay works directly with it and is allowed in most us states if it's not allowed in your state you may have to find a different way to recover your eth or uh, purchase ETH essentially, but if it is allowed you can buy directly in the app on the iOS store confirmed with Apple Pay That doesn't mean that you can do it though specifically in the browser You can use wire I guess in the browser or you can just uh, deposit directly, which is what we're gonna do I have not confirmed wire works wire is what is powering the iOS purchase so I assume it works fine of course, it will be once again limited based on whatever else. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and deposit directly and we're going to view the account here and I'm just going to go ahead and use my cell phone to send some ETH for the example. So at this point, we have submitted the, tr the transaction to withdraw the ETH to this MetaMask wallet. And once it's withdrawn, we'll go through the swap process as it is a little bit different than it is on Uniswap and I'll explain why that is when we get to it as well. All right, this is funny guys. You're about to see essentially what a huge issue is currently, which are the fees, right, on Ethereum. So just getting Ethereum sent over to here, we sent $50 and we have already lost, you know, uh, $10.40 or $0.31. Cents. So anyway so we have 0 0.02 eth here and hopefully what we will do now is get this connected in and show you how to work with it so first things first you're going to hit the connect wallet in the top right you're going to click the metamask button and then you'll click next and click connect at this point it will connect to of course the falcon swap and before you can swap unlike basically Uniswap where you can hit Mac or whatever, you actually have to deposit first. So next you're gonna go to the top left and hit the deposit button. You're gonna select Ethereum and then you are going to essentially deposit however much you need to, right? So it really depends on what fees are gonna be, which I assume is gonna be about another $10. So we will essentially do like a 0 0.015 and click deposit, see if this will go through. Nope, it says that the gas fees are gonna be $28. So let's go ahead and do 0 0.01. 
see if that'll go through insufficient funds for that as well so the fees are super high right now let's see if we can edit the fees and drop these down we cannot so for the sake of the how-to video we're gonna just get in whatever we can unfortunately it is what it is right um, i would recommend if the fees are doing this and being super high like they are for me right now just to get the money into falcon swap you give it a little bit of time maybe do it when the network isn't under as much demand so we're gonna have to drop down even further we'll see if we can get anything in all right there we go so our gas fee is still gonna be 28 dollars uh we're gonna spend like 28 dollars just to get like a little bit into <laughs> the, uh, the network so i guess we could do about 0 0.06 somewhere around there would that work we have to can't reject that as well not 0 0.06 was a point yeah 0 0.006 insufficient funds so how much can we do we're close let's go 0 0.004 and that'll float so we're gonna go ahead and go up here the average and confirm so obviously what we just showed you guys is that we are depositing into falcon swap now once the eth is deposited into falcon swap the swaps i do within falcon swap aren't going to have the same gas fees however your fees to get the ethereum into the metamask wallet and then to get it in and deposit it into falcon swap are still an issue and i just want to make that clear so that you understand but at this point once we have the balance deposited we will be able to go over and swap so now when we swap here we're not going to have the same amount of fees as we would on uniswap so i'm going to swap from 0 0.004 eth to 18 uh, falcon swap tokens and we're just going to go ahead and hit the swap button click the sign button in metamask and wait for the swap to occur and at this point we have basically put the transaction on the pending and then once it says successful it will show up in my balance for falcon swap from here you have options for staking coming soon and then we also have the falcon pool that we'll be covering in another video where you can basically pool your resources and like i said we'll cover that in another video so that's basically how falcon swap works if you want to do it yourself in the middle of editing and i realized that we need to show you guys how to get your falcon swap out back to eth so let's complete the tutorial real quick so once you have the falcon swap tokens you can just come back into of course the website the falcon swap dot exchange you can select falcon swap click the max button and then swap back as you can see here we've lost about 0 0.0002 as far as that's what the fees were previously so we're going to go ahead and sign that back and then wait for it to complete on the transaction or on the chain wait for the balance to represent click the withdraw button select ethereum click max and withdraw at this point you guys will see that we are still having this fee issue now because now we're trying to draw it back out into metamask which means it'll be recorded on the chain at this point and you will need to have the appropriate amount of fees or gas fees to pay for it and then you can co click confirm now if you've learned anything that on this channel you should be able to maybe go recover this yourself now elephant in the room does it completely get rid of fees no but it does stop the fees of the swapping on the ethereum blockchain and reduces them to where we are able to get that swap of 0.004 pretty much all of it into the falcon swap token after we had it deposited to of course falcon swap another note falcon swap is currently under beta there are probably other options that you want to take a look at and then the final disclaimer is I currently do have $400 worth of Falcon Swap. So do with that as far as whatever, according to however you feel comfortable. I wanna make sure that I'm completely transparent whenever we're doing these how-tos and on exactly how much of whatever token I have is what I'm utilizing. Uh, so you guys don't think that I'm just trying to pump a coin to pump a coin and make some money for myself. That's not the point. I want to show you guys how to use Falcon Swap. And then it's up to you if you want to go ahead and utilize it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next Tuesday.